Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be the last recap from last night's games. This is the third game as I'm doing it this morning. Got tired last night. A special thanks to those of you that have subscribed this far. And this is the recap to the Oilers' 3 to 2 loss to the Boston Bruins. Well, coming into last night's game, reported by Matt, well, not coming in after last night's game, uh, rather, reported by Matt Porter, Grizzlick said on ESPN that before the game, we wanted to play a little harder and stick up for each other, where um, a very solid Twitter um, responder said you shouldn't have to address it, you should just in innately want to stick up for each other. That's true, but sometimes you do got to check yourself before you wreck yourself, and it was good for the Bruins to be able to do that, and they stepped in and they did play a tougher game. This game, they obviously trapped for the first goal, they trapped the Edmonton Oilers, which was a key factor for me, because the Oilers did do good on the power play in this game, Dre scored back-to-back -back goals which was at one time the second he got from McDavid for the one-timer, which he also did on the first, that he was able to wire home uh, to tie the game up. And then on the first, he was able to get it um, from uh, McDavid with Tyson Barry with the primary assist and then wire it home, Leon Dry said it was. But in the first period, I think the momentum driving towards the Bruins is starting to push it where the Oilers actually played a solid possession game in the first. They just weren't able to get anything done. But then they didn't capitalize. It was at like the 11.34 mark. They didn't get the power play going. Then it was like the 3.50, so like almost the four-minute mark. There they let Marchand score, and Bergeron traps them at the line, chips it in front to Marchand, and Marchand just waits out Koskinen, does almost a Dasukian thing, and then uh, gets it past, uh, or not Koskinen, waits out Skinner, and then gets it past Stewart Skinner. Um, and then when it comes to Jake DeBrusque, uh, DeBrusque was able to, get open on a very nice play, very nice stick checking by the Boston Bruins. So they did play a lot more peskier um, <clears throat> in this game where they did stand up for each other. You saw that throughout the game. But they also played more like the, we've seen the Bruins play in past years where they've been calling for that a little bit more. Cassidy, Grizzlick, others, who, by the way, we'll get to in a minute, and Matty Grizzlick as well for being a player of the game. But Jake Dubrus is able to pop one here on a great play Great stick check. And I would say the Bruins' defense is definitely the second star of yesterday's game because the 5-on-5 five -five play of the Oilers is a big key factor to why they lost this game. Again, they were able to score on the power play, generate nothing on 5v5. Five -five. And then even also, like I said, the first period, the deciding factor, what's the worst way to turn the momentum against you and the best way to turn the momentum for you or one of the best ways as an opposing team? Well, that is to score a shorthanded goal on the road, and they did that for their first goal, pot the second goal as well to add salt to the wound. And then you have Edmonton battle back. Dre gets the one from Barry and McDavid, and then McDavid has the primary assist on the second one with those guys flipping, Tyson Barry getting the secondary assist. But then later in the game, Grizzlick, who talked about, basically this guy is a leader in the locker room. He talked about being a guy that was one of the people there to hold the guys accountable to step up and play a tougher game. And they did that this, this evening, and he was the guy – um, where Linus Allmark also played a solid game, 43 shots on goal for the Oilers, played again at the beginning of the game, especially a very solid possession game. They just couldn't generate the offense uh, on 5v5, where it was only power play generated offense, and then the power play kicked their butt in the first period when they started giving the Bruins a little bit of momentum, and you saw them getting churning a little bit after that power play. They killed off from like the 11, 34 mark into the 9 minute mark, and then you had... <clears throat> at the end, Berger or not Bergeron, Bergeron get it up to Marchand, and then Marchand scored on the penalty kill. But then you have Grizzly pat, um, blast it past Stewart Skinner on an assist by Smith, and then Hall's second assist of the game. So I would say third star of the game, player-wise, is Taylor Hall. Second star is going to definitely be, I would have to give that just because of the effort he showed to battle them back. That would be to the loser, Leon Dreisaitl. And then the first star would go to the game winner, Maddie Grizzlick, but one of the stars and key factors of this game was the Bruin just stick checking and ability to just piss off and be pesky on not just five on five play, but on the PK as well, because that's how they, of course, got their first goal where Bergeron was able to chip it up to Marshan. Marshan was out to the races, does the Dasukian, um, the cross BS, whatever you want to say, holds it and then goes to the backhand. And scores. So everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been a reaction to the Boston Bruins and Edmonton Oilers game from last night. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and enjoy the rest of the season.